Welcome to this video about covalent bonding and it's part of the topic of structures and bonding for C2 GCSE science. Now here are seven substances that you need to know very well and you need to know them because they have atoms that are joined by covalent bonds. Now I do require you to perhaps know a little bit of uh, background information about covalent bonding because I don't go into it in a huge amount of detail so it might be worth you going back to look at the covalent bonding video I did for unit uh, C1. Um, all the videos that I have done for the core science units are available at my-gcsescience.com so if you find yourself stuck on something or need to revise something in order to understand a C2 unit you can easily go back and have a look. Um, so here we are, here are the substances that the specification mentions specifically that you need to know about so let's get cracking with those. Right so hydrogen we have uh, is written as H2 and the way that the atoms link in hydrogen is a bit like this. Here is the hydrogen atom. It has one electron in its outermost shell and it can link to another hydrogen atom by sharing electrons. And if you remember from your core science lessons, the point of doing this is to get a full outer shell. In covalent bonding, it's done by sharing. This is the first shell and the first shell has a maximum of two electrons. So now each of these, because they're sharing, um, they both have two electrons in their outer shell. That's one way of showing the molecule called hydrogen. Second way is very simple. It's just two uh, capital H's with a line in between. This represents a covalent bond and it's a single covalent bond. And remember a single covalent bond is uh, done by sharing two electrons, one from each atom. Okay, so that's a single elect uh, covalent bond there, one line. The third way that you have to know how to represent this is by a diagram that looks like this. Okay, and really it's just simply this diagram over here on the left, but without the shells. I've just done different colors so you can see which ele uh, electron belongs to which atom, but in the exam it's unlikely that they'll color code it in this way. They tend to use crosses and circles or dots. Okay, so the next um, element is chlorine. The next molecule is chlorine and very similarly it bonds together like this. We have a strong covalent bond, forgot to mention that. This is a strong bond as well. So it has a strong covalent bond linking those two and very similarly a single line between them and slightly more complicated looking but again it is just this diagram on the left without the electron shells drawn in. This one over here is slightly different. Oxygen is slightly different in that it requires to share, it needs to share two pairs of electrons and if you're thinking a little bit ahead when we draw in this manner you have to draw two lines to show that there is a double bond which involves four electrons and again the diagram looks like that. Now it's going to get a bit repetitive for the next uh, few, next four I think substances so what I suggest you might want to do is pause in the right place see if you can draw out the molecules in the three different ways and see how you do in terms of getting it right or wrong again if you're a little bit confused you can go back to the covalent bonding video on for C1 and that might help you to do this so I'll zip through this very quickly so that you just get the idea of what you need to do so this is methane and it's bonded like so carbon has four electrons in its outer shell there are four hydrogens attached so the sharing happens like this and if you were to draw it looks like that and the last diagram is like that ammonia is NH3 like so and there's the other two forms of the diagram hopefully getting the hang of this by now and hydrochloric acid is hydrogen and chlorine so that's joined like so and there's the rest of the diagrams and water like so so hopefully you've got some idea of uh, how this works I want to keep this video short because really it's just just memory work you need to know about these seven substances all, bo all bonded covalently. You also need to know about diamond and graphite but we're going to look at that at an, uh, in a future video but uh, please do be aware of how these substances are bonded using the covalent bond.